Hello everybody and welcome to the start of another monthly writing vlog for January. This month is going to be an interesting month. It is once again a very busy month, but we are going to get through it and we are going to get some writing done. If you missed my previous December writing vlog, you can of course go up in the card and watch it if you would like to see it. Or just a quick recap, that is hard to say. I just finished my second draft of the novel that I am writing. It is a science fiction survival story. So now I'm going to be moving into the third draft and working through editing and improving and maybe starting to get people to read it. So what I've been working on today, I've been working on mapping out some of my character arcs because I needed to get them a bit more clear and get my head around how the character starts and how the character ends a little bit better. And then hopefully tomorrow I'm thinking I might be able to get into some of the bigger edits. I went through my draft and just read it and made little comments um, about some of the things that needed to be fixed and so go start going through them and fixing it up and polishing it and getting those last things that need to be fixed fixed before it is ready to be shared with people for general feedback. So that is where I'm at and that is all very exciting so come along for the journey. since I've given an update, uh, five days. Today is the 5th of January. Uh, today's been a busy morning. I had a driving lesson in the morning and then I just finished up filming my Sue cake making video. I have no idea how it's gonna turn out. I was a bit nervous while filming because my mom was like in the next room, but we'll see how it turned out. Also, yeah, I dyed my hair. Writing, um, I've been working like pretty consistently with it. I think I've just gotten up to about page 30 in terms of editing and reading through it. And I have been enjoying being in editing mode. I've got how much I love playing with like sentence structure and how things flow and things like that. Sometimes it's so frustrating though because you like finish reading through a page and then suddenly your brain goes, hey, did you remember this? And you're like, hmm, no, I didn't. And you have to keep going back to that one page because you forgot to introduce this thing. And then you gotta add another thing, even though you like finish editing that page and then you gotta go back to the page and it's a whole thing. So that's where I'm at. I will keep you updated on how the editing is going. I think this vlog's probably gonna be a lot shorter than my December writing vlog. I, I think editing has lots to talk about compared to writing because I was writing in the second draft. I'm getting things done. a quick writing update. I did my makeup and now my face in this light it looks like it has no features except for eyebrows. Today is a very exciting day. It is a day where not much work is gonna get done or writing but that is because I am going and seeing Hamilton which is very exciting. It hasn't sunk in that it's happening. I keep forgetting that it was a thing that's gonna happen. I think because I thought it never would happen. We booked this to go in July and then COVID happened. Right now in Australia the COVID numbers are the highest they've ever been. So it's very surprising it hasn't got cancelled but we are going to be masked up the whole time and try our best to be very safe as much as you can in this world we live in. But a writing update. I'm going kind of slow at the moment. I don't, every time I have to rewrite a scene, I get like annoyed about it. Cause I just want to keep on like going and reading through it at the faster pace, which is probably bad the fast pace. I'm probably not reading through it properly. But every time I have to like stop to like rewrite just little annoying bits 
I'm just like, oh, I don't want to do this anymore. I'm about 40 pages into it now. Time to focus on it, get through it, and hopefully I am editing it properly instead of just reading through it. Uh, I am like making edits and changes and stuff. Um, not like fine tooth comb level details, but I am still fixing it. So I'm guessing that's an indicator that I am, but I'm paranoid. I will hopefully see you very soon and I will have something to actually update on in terms of writing. I already know that this vlog is going to be very depressing to go back and edit because the last clip you saw of me, I was all excited to go and see Hamilton. And yesterday I did go and try and see Hamilton. We got all the way to the theater, right by the doors, and it was canceled. <laughs> so I'm laughing now, we weren't laughing at the time. I can tell you that much. This day was a bit of a bludgeon waste of a day, but you know, that's just how it goes sometimes. I've now decided to rewrite another part of my book, which will make it more high action and more intense for this part. But now I have to rewrite it, um, which I'll probably end up enjoying while I'm doing it. But like I planned how I'm going to, I outlined the bit I need to rewrite today and then I was like, that counts as enough writing work for today, we don't need to do any more. I finished editing my suit cake making video today and I finished... Finished? No. I started scripting the next Woman of Ancient History video, my Inosuke cosplay game. I got mixed feelings. This is the wig. It's so blue. His hair is not that blue. <laughs> But you know what? I'm gonna make it work. And then this monstrosity is a vest I'm gonna use instead of buying the pants that he has. Reference of the pants that he has. Because they were gonna be 50 buckaroon, like 60 bucks in some places. The cheapest I could find was 50 to buy this pair of pants. And I was like, no. I have this cheap vest that is surprisingly soft that I'm going to use to still give him like the boar, wild animal, crazy boy vibes. That'll just be over either like a crop shirt or a sports bra and then just navy pants. And we're going to call that a day. What I'm going to do now is put together a little test of how it fits together while my spring rolls are cooking for lunch. Current vibe. I, I have very mixed feelings about this wig. It is very hard to know how it's going to look in the end. Before I style it properly, it, I'll be doing up the bangs and fixing the ends and this little lump it's got. Uh, in terms of the outfit though, I've created a look and you know what, I'm actually happy with it. Also, I made these babies. Look at them. Look at them in all their glory. Yeah. Recommend getting you a cheap furry vest from Light in the Box and just navy active wear and looking great while doing it. People suddenly coming over. Ow, 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 ow. Ow. Am I okay? I just got the most intense stabbing pain through my right eye. That was fun. I can't tell if I got stabbed with a bit of wig hair or if it just did that on its own. I'm gonna go recover from that. Here's something I'm currently struggling with writing that I have no idea where to get advice from <laughs> my characters i'm writing them and he just feels like he uses he they pronouns like it just feels like that fits his character and i'm like all right they don't feel cis like i feel like they have multiple pronouns and so i'm trying to look into like writing characters with multiple pronouns because when you're writing a book in third person say like was was a good sentence like if i was like he started thinking about his responsibility and all the thi all the responsibilities that would fall on him. If you're using like he multiple times in a sentence, can you then like break it up with they or does that just not sound right? And so I just wanted like a bit of like advice on like when you're writing multiple pronoun characters with narration, how that goes. Cause like I understand multiple pronouns and I know if I'm talking about someone, how to use them. Or like, when thinking about someone, the pronouns I use. But with narration, I've never thought about it before. Like, you, third person narration, you use people's pronouns so much and I'm just becoming aware of it. 
And so I just, I was like trying to Google, trying to find stuff on like, you know, just general advice for like, like what the standard would be for writers when using multiple pronoun characters. And there's like nothing. Instead, I found a bunch of transphobic BS. Now I'm like, do I just use, do I just use he, him pronouns for them? But then that just doesn't feel authentic to the character and I'm erasing potential representation. I have this fear that if I write it the way I'm writing it where I don't have genuine advice on how to do this correctly, that it's going to be bad representation and I'm writing it in a way that isn't correct. And that's not something I'd want to do. I would rather not put the representation in than represent it badly. This is why I need writer friends. This is why I need writer peoples in my life so I can be like, hey, what's your, what's your perspective on this? How would you go about writing this? You know? But I don't have writer friends. Don't ask why I put pink above my eyebrows. I just did it for fun and then went, that looks kind of dumb. But I kept it. Okay, because I feel like I didn't accurately describe what I was talking about, I found a sentence example for you. He opened his eyes. An example of why I'm worried about using the multiple pronouns is switching them mid-sentence if it's a longer sentence. Because if I then say he opened their eyes, it sounds like he's opening someone else's eyes. But potentially I could say they, but if I also said they opened his eyes, it sounds like two different people. And so then with every sentence I write, do I have to stick with this sentence? I'm going to use they, and then this sentence I'm going to use he. See what I mean in terms of narration? It gets difficult to switch up pronouns mid-sentence because then it sounds like you're referring to one of your other characters because the character it's a full POV book. They're all interacting right now. But I've spent like seven minutes talking about this. It's been playing on my mind. I was trying to think of something creative to say other than hello everybody. Oh, my battery's dying. That's great. Uh, hello everybody. I can't think of anything creative. It's been a weird couple days. We had this whole situation where the floor had to get replaced in part of the kitchen. So we're kind of like trapped in another half of the house. So work was a little bit weird, but I got through that. And uh, also I've started work now. I have my first day of training yesterday. Anyway, yeah, the battery died. Um, it didn't go too catastrophically. My social anxiety didn't give me too much brain fog. Um, so I'm going back tonight to do more training slash work stuff and we'll see how that goes. But writing has been going fairly good at the moment. I rewrote that scene chunk I had to rewrite and I quite enjoyed going through that. It was quite, it, I think it definitely helped improve that moment, make it a bit more high action than it was previously. And then also like I had some, like another thing where I was like, hey, you haven't explained how this would work. And I added in a little bit to fix up that as well as just going through with general editing. And I uploaded my soup video today. I hope people like it and it gets a good response. Um, I'm gonna go do some more writing. Right now I'm currently on my like, break but um after the break get back into more writing and then i have to script another video and then do some cosplay stuff and all the general stuff that needs to be done my eyeliner may look like it was drawn on by a two-year-old but i'll tell you what for me this is a work of masterpiece i don't actually have anything to update the vlog on but i just thought i'd share my attempt at eyeliner I'm up to page 77 of editing. just caught up in editing this vlog as to where I am up to with it. So that told me it was time to give a bit of an update. I've really really been enjoying editing at the moment and working on my novel. I just feel like I've really connected and clicked with it at the moment and I'm just very in tune with it and I've just really grown attached to my characters and I'm enjoying sitting down to edit at the moment. I don't know if maybe this part of the book is just better or what but I'm enjoying it. I mentioned in my December writing vlog that I wrote a little short story as just a little side project while I was 
working in between drafts and I've decided to make that one of my February videos making that into an audio story which I have done once before on this channel and really enjoyed it and a lot of people really enjoyed the story and said you know the narration and writing was really good so this story isn't really as deep as that one or anything like that it's more just kind of a fun one in my opinion but I think that will be really good so I'm planning sometime soon to ask some people to read it just before I upload it because I don't trust myself and also I've read through it now and I can't pick up on any errors and I'm paranoid about that that there are errors and things to approve I just can't see them with my own eyes and on the subject of getting people to read my writing last night I decided to do some writing research which I haven't sat down and done in a while and I forgot how enjoyable it could be which basically writing research for me just means sitting down, watching some videos on a topic that I know I need to learn more about and taking some notes. Last night I decided to start thinking about the beta reader process because that's going to be happening really soon. Once this draft is done, I want people to start reading it, which is really a sign of how much I've grown. <laughs> I, the last big novel project I worked on, like that I was working on up until I was like 16, um, I'd done like six or seven drafts and I was still like, no, this is not good enough for anybody to read it. So yeah, that's kind of exciting. I discovered a new AuthorTube channel last night that was so good. The channel is author Brittany Wang. I can't believe I'd never watched any of their videos before, but they were super, super informative and you can tell they just nailed the whole AuthorTube thing. I also watched their video on how to run an AuthorTube channel and... I am now like inspired to like increase my searchability and all this. So I really recommend the channel. I'll leave a link in the description. But I was watching specifically their series on the beta reader process and how they did it. That was really good to get an idea on how that process can work and what I'm going to try and do with it. I think first I want to get like the two people who I kind of trust, the same people who I have in mind to read this story and be like, hey, can you read through it first? and give me general feedback to get an idea of things and then I'm probably going to reach out through my Instagram and say would anyone be interested in being a beta reader and hopefully someone responds. <laughs> my Instagram really hasn't been doing great at the moment. I think it's because I've been changing some of the content on there. It might also be because I changed my username. It's been going on for a while now that just likes have been decreasing and it's been a while since I've had like a post that's done really well. I've also been adding like cosplay content on there and shaking things up a bit rather than being a bookstagram but even the bookish posts aren't doing too well but I don't really know how to fix that so I'm just gonna like keep going with what I'm doing I feel like that'll probably be what's happening in the February writing blog uh to see that make sure you subscribe to the channel I'm on page 103 at the moment in terms of going through and editing so that means I have 62 pages to go is pretty good progress considering I probably started I started reading through this about the 3rd of January sorry I'm looking at my calendar so in total that's about 20 days to read a hundred pages hello I went out with friends this morning and then I filmed a video I'm doing a lot of hand action and I don't know why writing update uh I mentioned earlier in this vlog I'm pretty sure I did probably, that I'm gonna make that short story. I wrote a little audio story for one of my February videos. And so I sent that to a friend to read. Yeah, I did talk about this. I remember what I've said now. And they give me a really good feedback, which I have started working through. But um, my focus was just really bad yesterday and I didn't really get much done. Hopefully I will actually go through that soon and finish that. It's weird because I know this the person who read it's also watching this vlog, so hi Cassidy. <laughs> that'll be good to go through and then that'll be a lot more of a polished draft um, because, as it's been pointed out, I forget to add descriptions of things. And then I'll get back into editing the draft, which is going good. Just need to figure out how you write a romance. <laughs> good morning, it is January 27th. Yesterday was a bit of a bludge day because we got our boosters in the evening before, which is super great. But you know, just a bit of fatigue and symptoms from that to deal with. 
Apart from a swollen arm and a few little aches and pains, I am all good today. So let's get to writing. Rude. I forgot the thing that I was actually going to vlog about this morning. So yesterday I did do a little bit of writing stuff. So reading over this section again, I realized that there's this section of the book where the conflict is just based around the characters, but there's really nothing happening in the plot. So I'm going to try and brainstorm today some ways to add things back into the plot and throw a couple little more challenges at my characters that they have to survive. And that should hopefully um, even that part out so it's not just the tension between the characters and them trying to figure out their personal growth storylines. There's actually stuff happening in between that. So yeah, that should be good. At the moment I'm still trying to brainstorm another thing that I can add as like a survival element that isn't going to be like another major plot point, just something that can work as something that creates tension without it being too big of an issue to resolve that it affects the rest of the book that I already have planned out and that I want to keep. I just need a, I just need a little challenge to throw at them to get them moving and I can't think of like the right thing. Here's the other thing. I was just sitting there stocking fridges at work and in the midst of trying to fit a billion bottles of things in fridges, I suddenly went, this arc between my characters would make a lot more sense if they knew each other before the book started. Ah! The more I started thinking about it, the more I was like, yes, I like giving them like a, they were childhood friends for a bit type thing going on. But to do that, um, I was like, I was very naive to think that the last draft would be the last draft of major changes. Um, now I kind of want to add this element in and change that whole thing, which means going back through and pretty much shaking up. Sorry, mom's got really badly. Going through and checking that all the character interactions would match this new element added to it. Yeah, so I think pretty much the rest of this month might just be a lot of just thinking, really. Sometimes with writing, it's just having to sit there and think for a while and brainstorm and keep reflecting on it throughout the day to sort of see where you want it to go. And so it is the 28th day, almost the end of January and almost the end of this vlog. So the end of this vlog might just be me thinking until I have that like aha moment and I can really get things rolling. So yeah, I just have some decision making to do and some reflecting and thinking and brainstorming and so I think I'll just work on that for the next couple days instead of going in and writing because I don't know how I want to go about this yet. And then hopefully February we'll be back into the editing. I went to all of this effort of braiding my hair this morning only to realize I look bold. Yeah, so I was so focused on the fact that I made like a somewhat decent, nice braid that I didn't look at myself and I look like an egg. Because like all around, my hair is so thin that when it's pushed back, it's like, I've just become an egg. Now, after all that, I'm going to take all this out. I'll see you in a second when I don't look like an egg. Somehow we ended up with victory rolls. Today is the 31st of January, and thus that means the vlog is coming to an end. It's basically the other day when I was talking about how um, I was coming up with the new storylines and was going to brainstorm. So I tried a new thing of brainstorming where, um, it's not a new thing, I've done it before, but basically I just set, open up a voice memo on my phone, can you focus? Thank you. Um, and just talk to myself. And it really helped. I got to the bottom of what needs to be done and I now have like a rough outline of what 
needs to change and the new stuff to add in and so that's all going good so yeah basically today i'm gonna smash through finishing editing this vlog getting started on the writing stuff um and then the new demon slayer episode is out so i'm gonna sit and watch that and then I just want to spend my afternoon watching the end of series four of she -Ra. I've been watching she lately and I'm really loving it. I just want to sit down and watch a couple episodes and crochet and just chill. So that's going to be my motivation to smash out everything this morning is that I get the reward of just getting to sit and watch TV. I literally just filmed the outro for this video, but now I have stuff to say. And that is, it is very hard and overwhelming to start actually implementing these changes. Basically, I'm going to have to, like, do so much rewriting again. And I'm just putting it off right now. I was just on TikTok. It's just not happening. It's just not happening. Because I just, it's just overwhelming to have to go through the whole draft, pretty much. Like, I can kind of skim over it, but find all the scenes between those two characters and change their dynamic and all that, because it makes more sense to start implanting that now and go through it and then get back up to the part I'm up to and then start rewriting that bit. I, I think I'm just looking for someone to tell me it's okay if you don't work on this today. You know, and that is where this vlog is going to end. So thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. I do hope that you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy the video, please let me know by giving this video a like to help support the channel. And then if you want to make sure that you get to see my February writing vlog and see more of what's going on with my writing projects and then making an audio story, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you get to see that and then you get to see more of my future content and if you want more of my content recommended to you, you can stick around to the end screen to have more videos recommended. And that's all from me. Thank you once again for watching. Bye!